Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Hailmeister and thanks for tuning in to Geocaching with Hailmeister. Let's face it, geocaching can bring you to all sorts of cool places and gadget caches are probably the most prized possession, the jewel crown of geocache containers, wouldn't you say? I've been lucky to find several cool, really awesome geocaching containers, gadget caches, and all sorts of cool locations in my 10 and a half years currently of geocaching. There's a cool front yard geocache right over here, and 95% of the people who find it give it a favor point. <laughs> so let's check it out. No, I'm not going at this alone today. I like to have my geobuds with me. We got Soulwalk74. Hey! We have Geo Scorcher, and there's Audie Lane. And of course, there's you. You get to come along with. Let's go. Man, what a gorgeous winter afternoon we are having here. This is unseasonably warm. I'm thinking about taking my coat off, I'll tell you that. I'm here in eastern Iowa, and there's a geocache right over here. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Check it out. <laughs> Talk about maximum security. Holy cow. Looks like we got some work to do. Right now, the cache page says it takes several different tools to open this. We got a special UV flashlight and uh, a bunch of miscellaneous tools that I, maybe I'll need, maybe I won't, I don't know. But at least we got them. Oh, I did it wrong, apparently. All right, well, it looks like we're having a lot of problems getting into this one, all sorts of locks and things to get into, and uh, I don't know how we're gonna get... Whoa, 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 whoa! It's a, it's a, it's a tool? I got several. Hey. Holy cow, no, you can't, you can't use that. No? No, we, oh, we gotta, get, we gotta, no, you can't use that. That's, all right. that's not one of the tools. Ha-ha, <laughs> got one, yes! Sweet. Nice. Well, as you can imagine, with a cache that has about a dozen locks on it, we're having a little trouble, but we've gotten one of them. Let's go and see if we can get some more off there. You know, not only does this have nine locks on the outside, I've been saying a dozen, but it's got nine, but there's also doors. Here's one door, here's another door, there's another door. There's five doors on this thing, along with the nine locks. Wow, kind of makes me wonder, what is behind those doors and what do we got to do once we get in? Switch the color. Oh, -ho! got another one. Hey, hey Geoscorcher, yeah. now we only have seven more locks to go. Wait a minute. What? You know how there's like colors on the color wheel, right? Yeah. How it's like complementary colors, colors on each side oh, of the opposite? color wheel. Oh. Opposites. Okay. Maybe that's what. So the purple would be yellow, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let so okay. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> hey, I think we're onto something here. Yes, we are. All right. Well, it kind of feels like we have cracked a portion of the code as regards to the locks, and uh, I think we're on a bit of a roll here. This is the last direction lock. Let's see if we can get it. All right. Yes. Oh, yes. No. Yes, way. got one. All right, that one opens the door for us. Let's see here. What do we got? Ooh, cool whip. Oh, what in the no. world? Oh man. Cookies. All right, well, I guess we gotta solve a puzzle here to get into the next door. Let's get to it. We can get the, uh... Ooh, the UV light is coming into play. Cool. Mm -hmm. So that's 04. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, that one opens another door for us. Another puzzle. Let's see. Oh, What's another that? Box. Another Ooh, box. Another one of these. Hmm. I betcha. Oh, dirt. Oh, ah, what's this? <laughs> and then, now you push this uh -huh. one. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I got it. What's behind? Door number, I don't know, four? four? Ah! Oh, man! Ooh. That's not what I expected. Dead people. Dead people? <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy who didn't find it last. He only got this far. Yeah, Puzzle. Oh, 
What's this? Oh my. What is this? Another puzzle. <laughs> Another puzzle. Has anybody ever done a puzzle like this one before? Leave a comment down below. Yeah. Well, oh, there's a key in here. The key's in here, but you need to get it out somehow. Oh, I see. I see. The the key for the final lock is inside. We gotta get the key out of <laughs> out of the lock to use it in another, another lock. Two hours later. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! Nice! Wow. nice. Okay! Awesome! Are we ready to open the final door? Well, here's a log book and we're all signed in! Check it out! And that's what a four and a half star difficulty front yard puzzle cache looks like right there. All right, I got a couple trackables I'm dropping off here in the bag, the big bag of trackables. I feel very safe that these are not gonna get stolen anytime soon. A very high security area we have here. So in those go, I'm taking a few trackables as well too. I'm here with the cache owner, Justin, also known as J&K Long on geocaching. Justin. What an awesome geocache this is. And I gotta I gotta ask, what gave you inspiration to put something on your house like this? Well, I highly enjoy seeing other geocachers and helping them out. And I knew I wanted to put out something a little more difficult than just a normal ammo can at somebody's house. So I wanted them to have a difficulty. And I like to help fill fizzy grids, so I put it up there even higher. About how many people would you say come here or how often do you get somebody out here to find this one? One every month or so. To. Depends on the weather, of course. All right, well, thank you, Justin, very much for the geocache. This was an awesome experience, hey, and I'm glad. Me another gadget cache, man. I just used the tools of the trade. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> thank you for watching. Please check out these other episodes, and we'll see you on the next adventure of geocaching with Hailmeister. Mm -hmm.